we're going to demonstrate the Aiken osteotomy, and we're using a 2 by 12 millimeter burr for the Aiken osteotomy. I like to oblique the osteotomy uh, when I do it. That way it gives you a little bit more landscape for uh, putting in the screw this way. Okay, so uh, basically with the uh, Aiken, you're going to start a little bit more distal, and uh, you're going to come in and you want to leave sort of a... Um, a s little bit of a, a sleeve to green stick it on the uh, lateral side of the phalanx. And then you're going to pivot dorsally first. And then you can pivot uh, plantarly. You could maybe cut a little bit more um, um, in order to facilitate closing the wedge. Um, sometimes that's necessary in real life. You can basically correct your osteotomy. You can close the wedge like so. If you feel like you need a little bit more correction, you can take a little bit more off of that um, wedge. As you close it down, you get a guide wire for your compression screw. And uh, sort of your starting point for the compression screw is going to be right at the base after you've made a tiny little incision and you're basically going to shoot straight across there, like so. Okay. At this point, you could measure. You could measure 24. So you're measuring a 24. So you could maybe go a little bit shorter to a 22, maybe. Okay. There we go. Bring it out the other end. And then we could... Go ahead and um, drill it, and then you can basically drill it. You use the profile drill, and then while you're putting it in, you could hold your reduction. You can see how that compresses down nicely. It's nicely compressed, our, our osteotomy, and it's uh, through uh, the far cortex.